Welcome everyone, this is Zonta with Repo Products. Today's video is on what's new in Revit 2021 and specifically the enhancements to the section head symbol and rotating the text. Here I am in Autodesk Revit 2021 and I have a Revit model open and I have some sections already created. So let's take a look at what's happening. We have some standard sections for walls here but we have some as well over here, and then we have this one here, and then we have this one down in the corner. If you notice very carefully, when you go to create a standard section in Revit, and you use the wall section tool, if I draw it from top down, it creates it like so. If I do it again, and I say from left to right, say over here, look very carefully at how the symbology of the text inside wants to orient. It wants to orient it to the same direction that you're pulling. However, if we take a look at this particular section symbol that says 6A301, its text is horizontal, whereas this one, it's vertical. And so when you take a look at the actual tool, this is called a building section. And this one is also called a building section. And this one is called a wall section, but this one's called wall section two. What I did was as follows. I took the standard wall section command that you just saw me draw right here, and I duplicated it and called it wall section two. If I go into wall section two and I go to the type properties, in the type properties, it has a callout tag and a section tag. If I click inside the section tag filled, you can see there is a portion for section head. And I created a new one called section head filled rotated text. How did I do this? I'm going to cancel out of this, scroll all the way down in the project browser under families, and look at your annotation symbols over here. When we expand it, we can get to the section head portions here, and here's one that's called uh, section head filled rotated text. All I did was I took the original section head filled, I clicked edit to open the family, and saved it as a new family called section head rotated text. Now if I right click and edit this family, it doesn't look very much different than the other one. The difference is as follows. In the upper right corner under my properties, there is rotate text with component. I have that turned on. So I did that, I saved it, and I loaded it back into the project. Why didn't I just take the default one that came with Revit and just put a check mark in that little box? Because if I did, all of my section marker symbols would change so that they would be vertically oriented or angularly oriented as in this situation here. So to avoid having all of my existing sections to be automatically changed, I created a new type and called it the rotated one. That way, when I'm working with a specific section that I need, and I want to have the text rotated, such as over here, or over here, and that text is rotated at the angle that I'm drawing the section marker symbol, I can just pick and choose from that particular type of section. So when you're working in Revit, you will want to create a building section, a wall section, and a detail section, and duplicate them so that they have one that's rotated text and one that's not rotated text. And this will help you with drawing your section marker symbol and if you want the text inside to be rotated like this. Some people prefer to have it like this, horizontally, which is normal. And a lot of people want it still reading horizontal even if it's a vertical section, but others may not. So it's up to you how you want to have it drawn. The data obviously inside the head symbol is because the section views themselves are already placed on a sheet. So if I go to A302 sections sheet, you'll see my three or four sections that are created 
and where they're placed. Uh, so you can see those right here. And then the one that is the angled one says 11A302. We zoom in a little bit, we can see it says number 11. So that's how you go ahead and use the new rotate text with component functionality with section heads. Thank you very much for watching.